Hi everyone, this is Mr. Herbst, and today's focus is digestion that occurs in our mouth. Uh, here I have a cross section of our mouth. We have our tongue, we have our, our nose up here, and we have our throat down in this region right here. Um, the whole purpose of the mouth is to chew up food. Uh, the tongue moves the food around, squishes things around, and eventually forms a bolus. Uh, a bolus is, is a ball of food. Here I'm going to represent a bolus in the back of our throat. Uh, this is just basically a ball of chewed up food. Um, the scientific name is, is, is a bolus. Um, at this point, you would still, you would still know that you, what you ate. Uh, this would still represent your pizza or your burger or your watermelon or your kiwis, whatever you ate. Uh, this would still look similar to that type of food. It would be like if you put your food in a blender. It still looks like the food that you ate. Um, so the goal is to put it into the, this thing called a bolus, which is like a ball, a very moist ball of things. Um, what will happen is the food will, will travel down into the throat and go into the esophagus. Now, here's the problem. Uh, here is our windpipe. Air, only air is supposed to go through this region right here. It would be really bad if a bolus was to go down into this region right here. So what does our body do? Well, we have muscles that will move up our larynx right here and push it against this organ right here called our epiglottis and it will seal off it will form a barrier between uh, the the esophagus and the trachea so food only really only has one direction at this point it will go down through the esophagus and eventually into our stomach now if you are alive you know that your mouth is very moist that's because you have these salivary glands you actually have three types of salivary glands you have your parotid gland, which is a big or which is a really big gland uh, located in your cheek. You have your sublingual glands underneath your jaw, and your submandibular uh, gland also underneath your jaw. All of these uh, give off substances that moisten food. They bind food together, and they also help to keep your mouth um, low in bacteria. They help to kill bacteria. However, one of these glands, this big guy right here, he gives off uh, a lot of a certain substance called amylase. And what does amylase do? Well, that is the first, is a type of enzyme that begins chemical breakdown of um, our starches that we eat. Uh, in the last video, I talked about uh, things that are really high in starch are our breads, our pasta, our potatoes, things like that. So chemical breakdown of those type of foods actually begins in our mouth, this organ right here, with the aid of this really big salivary gland called our parotid gland. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and draw in our bolus once again. Let's say that we uh, we now have swallowed our bolus. It's right here. It's beginning its journey through this organ right here called our esophagus. So the, the bolus will begin to travel down through our esophagus like this, and it will go through a little sphincter right here. A sphincter is like a... Uh, Think of it like a valve. It, it allows food to go in one way, but doesn't allow it to come out the other way. Uh, that blocks off the food from going back up into the esophagus, and uh, well, sometimes that can work work go in reverse, like such as if you vomited. So I'm going to go ahead and write in there how to spell sphincter. So you have a sphincter right here that blocks the food from going back up into the esophagus. If somebody has chronic heartburn, it's probably because all the acid that's in the stomach was able to leak through this sphincter right here and back up to the esophagus, and that hurts. Uh, that's pretty painful. The esophagus is not coated with a thick layer of mucus like the stomach is. But anyway, um, our bolus right up here will travel down through the esophagus and eventually will enter into our stomach where it's greeted by a really, really big... Um, bath of hydrochloric acid, which begins to break down uh, some of the food and kills bacteria. So let's review. We have the teeth and the tongue that form food into a bolus, and amylase begins chemical breakdown of starch. Uh, that pretty much concludes all of the uh, digestion that actually occurs in our mouth. Our next focus is going to be digestion that occurs in the stomach. Uh, this was Mr. Herbst here. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Have a nice day.